Hi folks, we are here with Dr. N.S. Murthy, Chairperson, Department of Electronics, Communication Engineering, Amrita School of Engineering, Amrita Vishya Vidya Pidam, Bangalore. Sir, what do you suggest a student must go in for placement after, the, after he or she completes the fourth year? Or should he go for business, start a new business and call himself as an entrepreneur? Or should he go in for higher studies? What is your recommendation? And what is really happening? Okay, so in fact, uh, my recommendation is I always uh, ask them what is their passion for research. The research is something which uh, unless a person is pas having passion cannot do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It cannot be done by force. Okay. No, no, that is true. That but is true. but uh, there are certainly students who upfront make up their mind that I want to do research, I want to go for higher studies, then PhD and then join a research organization or a do research within academics. Research also can be done in academics. Okay. And also like say DRDO labs or uh, other labs or even Philips Research, IBM Research, Intel Research, every company has got a research. So, they upfront make up their mind and those people who are really interested in research do not even go for internships. Okay. Because if they go for internship, they have to do what the company says. They cannot do what they want. Okay. okay. So, now they have a freedom if they do not go for internship. They can choose for internship or they can say that I will do a very good research project in the Amrita and take up my career for that. Uh, but uh, statistically what we see is almost maybe 80 percent of the students opt for internships followed by job. Oh, so, 80 percent would go for placement? Placement or to get an experience in the industry. And then take on for higher studies? Go for even entrepreneurship. All right. So, what's, what support do you give? Because going abroad or study within India, in the Indian universities, central or the you know, state universities, you need to write an examination which is called GATE graduate uh, aptitude test for engineers and it's not an easy one i mean it's quite a, a tough examination and if you want to go abroad you need to write an examination called gre uh, for clearing and qualifying in these examinations what support as a departmental head do you give to your students sir the many gate coaching centers which are within bangalore they come here they ask us to provide an opportunity to talk to our students and encourage them, which we facilitate. And also there are some gate centers which will give the free gate coaching to the top rankers. That also we facilitate. And they are free to do it and we also provide all the opportunities for them to crack the gate exam as well as even the GRE and TOEFL. And also there is another thing which happens of course across Amrita, not specific to ECE Bangalore. Yes, sir. Is through ACIP. What is that, sir? Uh, Amrita Centre for International Programs. Oh, okay, okay. So we have an organization, Amrita Centre for International Programs, which facilitates the students going for student exchange programs. So our own BTEC students or MTech students or even some cases faculty can go to universities with which Amrita has a collaboration and do the project there. So at least uh, around uh, 10 students every year go for Amrita uh, that internship to be done outside India in Europe and US.